so I've got both sleeves in now so I've got my short sleeve in and I've got my longer sleeve in with the elastic casing so I'm going to show you next how you can attach a straight cuff to the end of the long sleeve because the straight cuff pattern should match this narrow edge we can use this straight cuff pattern we're just going to need to cut one um, I've gone, gone for a contrast fabric um, and then the next step is to fold it across this way, press it flat, iron it along here so, so that you've got a crease. So this is the right side of the fabric so um, I'm folding with the wrong sides together so that will appear um, on the outside. So once you've pressed that and you've got a good crease then you're going to open it out and match those edges right sides together and then you're going to stitch across here with a centimetre and a half seam allowance. So I'm stitching across the narrow edge of the cuff. And I've done that with a centimetre and a half sort of standard seam allowance. Usually on a cuff you'd have um, interfacing but for the purpose of this I'm not going to apply it so it's just going to be a soft finish. So once I've sewn that seam my next step is to then press this seam allowance open across here. I don't need to edge finish the seam allowance because it's all going to be enclosed once I sew the cuff on. So I'm going to press that open next and then press that seam allowance open. Just iron that flat. If so, I've got my sleeves the right way around. I'm going to attach it to this long one. So the sleeves the right way around, cuff is the wrong way around. I'm going to match these seam allowances so the, the seams there will meet and both seam allowances are pressed flat. Pin that in place now. And it should fit around that edge. If it doesn't, it's probably because one of the seam allowances isn't sewn correctly. Now I'm going to pin on the inside of the sleeve because I'm going to have to stitch on the inside of the sleeve. So just put a few pins in there. So because my cuff is really quite tiny, I'm going to have to stitch, stitch on the inside of the sleeve. So um, usually you'd be able to take off like, this section of the machine and slip your cuff over the edge here, but that's not going to work because it's so small. So seam allowance is a centimetre and a half. If you've got a really narrow cuff, you might do, choose to do the seam allowance a bit smaller. And again, like the sleeve, I can just start sewing, not back tack, and then I'm going to end up in the same place so I can finish at that point. Okay, so I've got back round to the beginning again, so I can just stitch over the stitches and then just back tack a little bit to finish off. So now I've got the sleeve, uh, the cuff on the sleeve, and that's stitched all the way around. I want to turn the sleeve inside out. And then pull the cuff all the way out. So then I'm going to go over to the ironing board and I'm going to press the seam allowance of the cuff over and I'm going to turn this seam allowance up by a centimetre and a half. So using the sleeve board again I've got the seam allowance pressed here towards the cuff and then this edge turned under by a centimetre and a half and I can just press that seam over like so. I'm going to do that all the way around, making sure that is apart. And so now that's done, then this edge can be folded over like so, so that will press back along the original fold line that I started with at the beginning. Then I can just put some hand stitching in here. Um, and slip stitch it in place to my seam line all the way round. So I've threaded up a needle 
and I'm just going to tie a knot in one end on the inside, seeing where it's here. Okay. And then on the on here, I'm going to stitch through the fold and then pick up a stitch. And go back into the fold, around the fold, pick up a stitch. So when I pull on the thread, it'll be pretty invisible. So I'm going to do that all the way around. When I get to the end, I just take some stitches on the seam allowance there, just do a few extra stitches. And you can just put the needle through, cut the thread, and that's the cuff done. Okay, so if I turn that through to the right side. So that's the straight cuff attached. You can give it another press at this point. You should find that the seam matches there. That line should meet up, which it does. It's pretty good. Okay, so for the second cuff, um, 